Okay, greetings and salutations. So for this video, I don't really have a specific goal in mind to do, but I did hear that there is this really cool like national forest near here um, in a town called Nico. So I figured today I'd try to take the train and we'll go to Nico and go to this national forest and see if there's anything interesting. I might film some interesting things I see along the way, kind of show you what all the little different things that are here in Japan and see how different they are from the US. I don't know. I, I don't really have a plan for this video. I just kind of intend to go with the flow as it goes. So we'll see what happens, but why don't you uh why don't you guys come on this journey with me and we'll go to Nico National Forest and, and, and see how it is. So I just got this weird coffee job like coffee flavored jello in a can. <laughs> I don't know, I've never quite seen anything like this. It's like, it's just coffee flavored jello, but it's in a can and it's it's actually pretty good. I don't know. I never thought you would put jello in a can. It's kind of hard to drink, but very interesting. Look at this, it's a cigarette vending machine. I never would have thought. I wonder how they like make sure they're of age. Strange. Okay, so I just arrived in the town of Nico. It's a very touristy town, but it doesn't look like there's very many people here right now. I think what I want to do first is there's like a little place with a bunch of shrines that I want to go see, and then there's like some botanical gardens. I'm not quite sure what those are yet, but I kind of want to check those out. And then from there, I'll probably just continue up this road north until I get to the lake, which is where the, um, the, the park is. So I, <laughs> I really don't have a plan here. Um, so I'm just gonna go wherever and take pictures and see, see if I can find some neat things. Mm. So I probably could have taken the bus. It's kind of, looks like it's gonna be kind of a long walk, but I don't know, I have time. So may as well just enjoy the walk through Nico until I get to the, the temples. Okay, well, I didn't quite make it to the the gardens or the temples. I think I got kind of lost, but I ended up walking pretty far out of town and ended up at the cemetery. So I guess it's not a total loss. I don't know, I'm gonna try to find my way back. Okay, okay, I take it, I take it back. I don't wanna find my way back to town yet because just above the cemetery, I found this old road. I don't know where it goes, but <laughs> Screw doing the touristy thing. I want to like find out where this road goes in the middle of nowhere. I don't know who else has been here. Okay, so the road was getting pretty overgrown. So I took this quick detour and I found myself in this little ravine area where a bunch of, I think they're cedar trees. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think I'm trespassing anywhere because I think technically the, all these mountains are public land. So um, yeah, I think it's okay. So I just found this big, I think it's a dam in the middle of nowhere. It looks really like mossy and overgrown. I, I don't know how long it's been here for. But this is pretty far off the path, so I don't know if the stream used to be bigger or something. Wow. Okay, so I found my way back to the road. It's kind of hard to see it even at this point. Like it's, there's definitely a road here, but it's all overgrown. And I feel like it hasn't been used for a long time. I don't know if it's a maintenance road or something, but there is a, like an overpass over here, so I can hear cars. But what's really weird are these things that I've been trying to figure out what they are. They're just these little like fence posts out in the middle of, I don't know, nowhere. But they don't look like they have any fencing on them. And they're kind of all in a circle. I don't know. I'm starting to get the feeling that I might be trespassing, so I think I'm gonna head back. But that was a fun adventure. Why do I keep finding myself on weird paths that I have no idea where they're going? Ugh, I really need to get back down to wherever the regular tourist attractions are. Okay, well, it looks like the path leads to this. Looks like a really old shrine. 
I don't really know what the significance is. Is he missing a head? Looks like the monk's head is gone. All right. Well, I would say it's mostly worth it. All right, well, I guess I'll pay my respects to the shrine and try to head back. So I bought myself a little green tea ice cream cake. It's gonna be good. Okay, so not quite what I was expecting. It's like green tea in between two pancakes with like sweet refried beans. It's pretty good. It's just a very unique taste. Yes, I finally made it, Nico National Park. Sweet! Yep, definitely in tourist area. Look at those prices. Wow. Luckily I brought my own sandwich for about a quarter of that price. to say it feels kind of weird walking around all these temples when like there's not very many tourists around sometimes I feel like oh am I supposed to be in this spot or not I don't know but it's kind of nice not having like tons and tons of people around either I mean there's like definitely people at like ticket desks and worker desks but I've only seen a couple tourists just kind of milling around yeah very eerie Okay, so it's starting to get kind of late, so I think I'm going to start heading back. It's going to take me like 45 minutes to an hour to get back to this train station. And it's already past 5 now, so I do want to get back to Utsunomiya and maybe close out this vlog with getting some gyoza, which I'll explain later what that is, but um, until then. So, oh, remember that sandwich I saw for 800 yen? Well, this is the one I have for, that's probably almost as good, for 213 yen. Yeah, I think it's way better in my opinion. <laughs> I'm not paying that much for a sandwich. <laughs> so some of the flavor combinations on these sandwiches absolutely blow my mind. Look at this, it's a triple decker sandwich with egg salad, ham and cheese, and like some mayonnaise and cucumbers. Not something I would normally think of, but it's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so I didn't end up getting to see all of Nico that I wanted today. Um, I pretty much only walked around the, the temple area with uh, the temples and shrines, and I didn't quite get to the, the hikes around where the waterfa waterfalls are or the botanical gardens. So I'm kind of disappointed with that. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that long ass detour <laughs> on a road that, on an old abandoned road, but I don't know. I think that was worth it. So maybe I'll come back next week and see if I can see those gardens and the waterfalls. 